Hello, and welcome to Managerial Accounting. What is Managerial Accounting, also called Management Accounting? Managerial Accounting is focused on providing financial information to internal users, such as managers and owners. Managerial Accounting applies to all types of businesses, including service, merchandising, which is the selling of products, and manufacturing. It also applies to all forms of ownership, such as the owner-manager, the partnership, or the corporation. The focus of managerial accounting is to provide information so that internal users can make appropriate decisions, both strategic decisions, which are focused on long-term goals, and operational decisions, which focus on the day-to-day -day operations of an organization. Likely you have already taken financial accounting, sometime in the past. So exactly what is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting? Let's focus on financial accounting first. Financial accounting is all about external users, such as shareholders, creditors, and regulators. There is therefore a focus on external reporting. The end result of financial accounting are financial statements, which are published for use by external users, often quarterly or annually. And those financial statements are general purpose financial statements, meaning that they are intended equally for all external users. The information included in the financial statements is based on what happened in the past, historical information, things that have already happened. And those financial statements are focused on the whole business, meaning they are consolidated. If a company has entities in every country in the world, the financial statements will include the financial data from every single one of those countries together. The financial statements include any financial information, information that can be quantified in dollars and cents. And the statements must follow GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, such as IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards, or ASPE, Accounting Standards for Private Enterprises. And finally, the financial statements are generally audited by an external company, a CPA, Chartered Professional Accountant. That's to verify that they are free of material misstatement. This provides external users with a level of assurance. So what about managerial accounting? Managerial accounting is focused on internal users, such as employees, managers, or the owners of the business. Managerial accounting information is not available to external users. Managerial accounting produces special purpose reports, and they provide them as frequently as required by management to allow them to make informed decisions. The reports produced are all special purpose reports, meaning that they are reports customized to each internal user's needs, reports that would allow them to make the decision that they need to make at that time. And those special reports focus on what might happen in the future, trying to predict the future based on the information from the past. Management accounting may focus on the whole company, but they are just as likely to focus on a subunit such as a division, department, or geographical area. Because reports are special purpose reports, the content of the report will depend on the internal user's needs. Managerial accounting reports include not only financial information, but any information which may be relevant to the decision needs of the internal users, such as non-financial information about the economy or customer preferences, for example. Whereas financial statements must follow GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, there are no such constraints for managerial accounting reports. And the reports produced by managerial accountants are not required to be audited by an external CPA. You can clearly see that managerial accounting is significantly different from financial accounting. It's important that you test your understanding of the content we just covered by applying this new knowledge. Let's do that now by completing a solve it question. Consider pausing the video and answering the questions yourself before I answer them for you. This problem is asking you to classify each of the following as either primarily financial or primarily managerial accounting. If you can do that, it demonstrates your ability to apply your new knowledge to different situations. Number one, determine if the proposed new product will be profitable. The wording in the question is giving you the answer. Notice it says new product referring to the future, and will be, again referencing the future. Both indicate predicting the future, which is all about managerial accounting, because internal users would need this information to decide whether to produce a product or not. 
Two, prepare a cash flow statement for last year. Again, the wording is giving us the answer. Cash flow statements are one of the financial statements produced for external users, and it's about last year, which is historical information. This is financial accounting because it focuses on the past and it's provided to external users. In addition, it follows generally accepted accounting principles. The statements cover the whole organization and are therefore consolidated. Three, prepare a budget for the upcoming five years. And we're back to the wording providing the answer. Budgets are all about predicting the future. And then it says upcoming five years. This is managerial accounting because it is focused on internal users such as managers. Budgets are used to motivate managers and it provides them with relevant information for future decision making. Four, record business activities for the past six months. We are recording information from the past, historical information. This is focused on financial accounting. However, Note that managerial accounting makes use of the information within an organization's financial accounting system. So even though this is primarily financial accounting, it's used by managerial accounting also. Five, determine if a product line should be discontinued. We can see the words if and should be, and both focus on predicting the future. This is managerial accounting because it's focused on providing information to internal users so that they can make a decision about what to do in the future. That's it for the solve it question. This allowed you to apply your understanding to differences between financial and managerial accounting. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in a future video.